Hello, I'm Steve. This is the Patio Heat Channel, where we create visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for outdoor comfort. Our one-on-one -on -one customer support helps you make the best decision for your application. We strive to earn your business. Visit our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Now let's get heating. All right, so here we have this uh, outdoor California room. And let me just go ahead and show a couple of uh, the options that I'm going to show. So here's two units here. And then here are two units on the outside or on the perimeter. And then just this additional one unit over here. So this is bear that in mind. That's what you'll be seeing um, outside of your uh, residence. And let's go ahead and just go right into some of the dimensions here. Uh, dimensions we have here are at 16 feet, one half inch. I think it's a half inch off, but anyways, from edge to edge, 16 feet. From edge to edge here, from here to the inner edge of this wall at 16 feet. And then I have a ceiling height of 10 feet. We do have a fan in the middle. Also um, a speaker and a recessed light on both sides. Those are centered and I don't have the exact location of them. However, I think I have them at uh, the first um, item at uh, 24 inches or maybe even two feet, six inches off from the edge and then another foot inside for the light. And same with this here, two feet and a half and then 12 more inches here. All right, let's see if there's anything else. There is a um, counter for prep and kitchenette type of out, uh, system. Sorry, and uh, there are doors. These doors are sliding doors left and right. All right, so let's go ahead and take off those dimensions and look at that first option again. So first option being two um, 6,000 watt units. Now I have to mount the unit so that I am um, 18 inches off of the edge of the fan blade. You might notice that I have them at a slight angle. So that's a seven degree angle. And so what I did here was um, with that seven degree angle, I came from this edge and moved the heater out 19 inches. It requires 18 inches. However, with this uh, slight angle, the clearances do a change slightly. So you can see here, here's my clearances and I am not touching the fan with the uh, clearance, nor am I um, penetrating the back wall here with the clearance as well. Mounting it from the ceiling on a 6,000 watt unit, it only requires six inches of clearance. And um, let's see if there's anything else here. I believe that's about it. Let's go ahead and look at the footprint of heat. This is actually my um, favorite uh, of the three, and that's because of the fact that we are able to um, heat up the whole entire space. This is infrared heating. So you're not physically able to see the infrared light waves, but um, for demonstration purposes, I have this orange glowing uh, element here so that you can actually see where the footprint of heat is. And you can see that we are getting a very good coverage throughout this whole seating area. All right, so let's go ahead and turn that one off and turn on option two, which would be on the outer edge. Now, because of the seating uh, position here, this would work out okay. Um, and let's just go ahead and, well, let me just talk about what I did here as well. So these are centered within this, the room span itself. And then um, when you mount it on a, a vertical surface like this, you are required um, to have uh, 12 inches of clearance and then the 30 degree maximum tilt angle. So from straight down 30 degrees, um, that is why you need the extra uh, clearance. Let's go ahead and look at those clearances here. And you can see that um, we are meeting all the clearances that are required. Um, again, you can use the OEM bracket with a 30 degree tilt and the clearance back here isn't as crucial as it is when it is pointed straight to the ground, like from the ceiling I had before. So those are the two units there. And let's go ahead and look at the footprint of heat. Footprint of heat. You can see we have a decent coverage. I would say pretty more than decent. I think this would be adequate for this um, space. However, when you're prepping here, you're in a standing mode, so um, this might be a little bit hot. So you definitely wanna either consider a duplex switch so you can switch the heaters on one element, two elements, or off, or use a control system where you can tone it down to whatever temperature between 100% and 1% as you see fit. And 
there's no issues with regards to the fans. Also, I didn't mount them up here based on the fact that we have the speaker and light fixture up there. So that is option two. And then the third option would be just to um, have one unit out here or even you know the three units. We can put all three here, but I think that would be way overkill, especially on this portion here. You got three overlapping rays. That would be way too hot for most people. And it would be very uncomfortable, let's just put it that way, with a 6,000 watt unit. So that probably wouldn't work out well, but um, going back to just one particular unit, if that's all you saw fit for, then you would get pretty good coverage. The first two seats on the outside edge would be nice and warm. This would be, I would say, um, decent. And then this here, you really wouldn't feel much of the heat at all. That's as far as that ray really travels to make a comfortable space. So your upper body will be in that ray, but your lower section will not. And uh, that would not be my preferred application. All right. And I think that's about it. All right. Well, I hope this has helped. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you would like us to review your plans, please send your information into designs at patioheat.com. I'm Steve. Kindly hit that like button. We don't advertise. We don't monetize. YouTube does not promote our channel unless we receive thumbs up from our viewers like you. Thank you very much. Have a terrific day.